Hello friends, welcome to Bootstrap 5 video tutorial series. In this video tutorial, I would like to discuss Bootstrap Flex Item Related Classes. We understand how Bootstrap Flex Item Related Classes work step by step. So let's get started. Here we have my dash website folder. I open it. Inside my dash website folder, we have default.html page. I right click on it, say open with the notepad. You can see default.html page is open in the notepad. Its title is set to bootstrap demo. I minimize it. I right click on default.html page, say open with the Google Chrome. You can see default.html page is open in the Chrome. Title is set to bootstrap demo. First we have bootstrap align self classes. Align dash self classes used to vertically align individual flex items. Align dash self classes used to vertically align individual flex items in their container. We have align dash self start, align dash self dash center, align dash self dash end, align dash self dash stretch classes. Let's create some code. Here I am going to say div, opening div and closing div. I am going to set some classes here. Class of border space border dash dark and then I am going to add some space ampersand nbsp semicolon here I am adding. File, save go to browser and refresh we got a div with a dark border I remove the space add some child elements I say opening div and closing div inside that I put the content div 1 and then I'm going to set some classes here class of border border dash primary that sets the blue border guys file save go to browser and refresh we got div 1 with blue border I'm going to copy that and paste 1 2 3 times here I say div 2 div 3 and div 4 here I say border s e c o n d r y secondary border dash s u double c e double s success and border dash w a r n i n g warning if I say file save go to browser and refresh you see div 1 div 2 div 3 div 4 are getting displayed one below another because they are block level tags right divs are block level tags so they get display one below another here simple if i set on the parent div class d dash flex now what happens parent div is considered as a flex container and the child divs are considered as flex items and we know that flex items are placed one beside another so if i say file save go to browser and refresh you see div 1 div 2 div 3 div 4 are placed one beside another instead of one below another so that is a power of d dash flex class if i come here and say style heigst height of 100 pixels if i say file save go to browser and refresh height is increased and you also observe that the flex items are by default stretched so on the flex items by default align dash self dash stretch class is used guys if you want you can change the vertical alignment for example on the div 1 I am going to say align dash self dash start if I say file save go to browser and refresh you can see that div 1 is vertically top aligned right if I come here and say align dash self dash center file save go to browser and refresh div 2 is vertically center aligned or vertically middle aligned you can say if I say here align dash self dash end file save go to browser and refresh you see div 3 is vertically bottom aligned so you can vertically align individual flex items as per your wish guys top center bottom or stretched so that is about align dash self classes next we have order classes order classes used to customize the order of individual flex items you can change the order of flex items guys with the help of order classes goes from 0 to 12 for example i am going to remove this style from here i remove these classes align self start align self center align dash self dash end file save go to browser and refresh you see div 1 div 2 div 3 div 4 are getting displayed one beside another okay what if you want to change their order means first div 4 should get displayed then div 3 then div 2 then div 1 just reverse the order 
so for that we take help of order classes so i am telling here div 4 should be displayed first so i say order dash 1 and then div 3 so order dash 2 and then div 2 i say here order dash 3 then div 4 should get displayed so order dash 4 now what happens you see file save go to browser and refresh first div 4 then div 3 then div 2 then div 1 so that is how order classes are used guys hope it's clear next we have auto margin the individual items you can automatically set some margin on left side right side or top or bottom with these classes guys ms dash auto that means margin start me dash auto that means margin end mt dash auto means margin top mb means margin bottom mx if you use it sets both start and end margin means left and right side margin y means top and bottom margin guys so let's understand it with the demo so here i would remove this order class i remove this order class i remove this order class i remove this order class so if i say file save go to browser and refresh we got again due 1 due 2 due 3 due 4 now for example if i have to place due 2 due 3 due 4 on the right hand side i am going to add the margin on the right side of due 1 so simply i will say here me dash auto so margin right side auto if i say file save go to browser and refresh you see due to due 3 due 4 are on the right side because on the due 1 i have used margin end auto means margin right auto if i remove this one for example file save go to browser and refresh it's normal you can see for example i want due 4 on the right hand side okay and due 4 should be on the right hand side so simply what i can do on the due 4 i can simply say margin start auto means on the left hand side margin should be added file save go to browser and refresh you see due 4 is pushed to the right side on the left hand side it has the margin enough margin to place due 1 due 2 due 3 on the left side okay let's see another example if i remove this due 4 let's say if i go to due 2 and say here mx dash auto what mx auto does it adds margin on the left side as well as the right side so what you what you see in the output is due 1 on the left side due 2 is placed at the center due 3 is placed at the right side file save go to browser and refresh you see due 1 on the left due 2 in the center due 3 on the right so on due 2 we have added left and right side automatic margin guys so that is how you can auto margin the individual items okay next we have stretching flex items horizontally right by default anyhow flex items are vertically stretched if you want to stretch stretch the flex items horizontally okay then you will be using either uh, flex fill class or flex grow class guys so for example let's remove this from here save come to browser and refresh we have div 1 div 2 div 3 and they are not stretched horizontally you can see that so simply what i can do here i can say here flex dash fill and then i say here flex dash fill and then i say here flex dash fill if i save it definitely you will see the elements stretched horizontally right do one do two do three are stretched horizontally guys so that is how you can use the flex fill class if you want to uh, stretch the flex items in their uh, container so if i come back and refresh they are again going to be normal you can see instead of flex fill you can also use flex grow class guys flex dash grow flex dash grow dash one and if i copy that paste here paste here if i say file save go to browser and refresh you can see they are stretched guys so that is all about uh, flex item related classes in the previous video we understood bootstrap flex box container related classes in this video we understood bootstrap flex item related classes so they go hand in hand to create websites or layouts with flexbox concept guys okay that's it guys for this video tutorial i strongly suggest you people to watch these videos again and again understand everything clearly experiment more try it yourself if you, if you try by yourself you get more clear idea guys in the upcoming video tutorials we'll discuss more about uh, bootstrap 5 if you like this video hit the like button and share with your friends so that everyone will get benefited for more benefits and be up to date do not forget to subscribe to our youtube channel keep learning keep coding keep sharing thank you guys thank you very much see you in the next tutorial
Thank <laughs> you.